Hey you guys, okay so today we are talking about so many new and amazing beauty products that I have picked up recently. This is like a full-blown haul video, which I have not done in a very long time. I feel like I have not really shopped for like a lot of beauty stuff. Not that I went and like shopped for a lot of beauty stuff, I just have a lot of good things to show you. Um, last night we were out and I also picked up a few things from Victoria's Secret. I thought why not, I'll show you those. Um, a few just really cool interesting things and um, something that you really have to pick up and one thing that's a dud, like a total, I mean I don't want to say total dud, but it just didn't like live up to the hype and um, I don't know, it's just very weird. But a lot of these things we're gonna try on together. So many fun new things to try, you guys. Um, so today, as far as like makeup and stuff, we're gonna kind of uh, see that as we go. Cause I am gonna try on a few things and kind of share with you guys some things that I'm wearing that might be new. Um, oh, let me share with you guys this, this is so cool. Okay, so like even though we are like in the coldest part of the year, I just feel kind of like we're heading into the new year. Spring is the next season, and while I'm definitely not ready to buy spring things yet, and I'm still very much like in winter, I just don't like to buy a whole lot of sweaters or things that I can't really like transition with me into spring. This is such, such a good item. So I love like a textured sweater, like fuzzy jackets, anything like that. Kind of classic items, I think. Anything that has like a good texture. But I found this, and this is something that has like a really, it's cozy and soft, but at the same time, it's got like a pretty loose weave. So I feel like this is something that I could totally throw on like with a tank, even with like some shorts or something. And when the weather's a bit warmer, I'm very back into my like monochrome, whatever you want to call it, um, white look. I just, I love white denim. This is like the best pair ever. Let me put this on my lips first. So my friend recommended this. It's the Burberry, uh, what is it? The Liquid Lip Velvet Number no. 9 Fawn Rose. She recommended this one, and this one is really good. I thought I tried on for you guys. All I've got is a little bit of um, the that Sarah Hap uh, Liquid Airbrush like lip thing, whatever, and um, a little bit of Mac World Lip Liner. You want to talk about like a really good like one of just those perfect liquid lipstick colors. What's very interesting is this has the look of a liquid lipstick, right? That's pretty much where it ends. Um, it feels soft and velvety, it doesn't set or dry, so if you like the look of a liquid lipstick but you can't get on board with like them setting and you know, try this, so good, love it. So there was a few, let me pull all this out so I don't forget anything. I grabbed another even better uh, moisturizer and this is new you guys, so if you guys like the Moisture Surge, they have a new one, like I'm obsessed, I love all the Moisture Surge lotions, creams, face, moisturizers. This is the new one called Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Gel Cream. So it's oil free, does all the same things as the other one, but something about it, like it locks the moisture into your skin and just keeps it comfortable. So if your skin like feels really comfortable when you first put on moisturizer, but then like later in the day, especially like these cold, dry times that we're in, toward the end of the day you look a little like, you know, dry. Try this, I put, I've been putting this under my moisturizer. This was something that I ordered earlier in the month. Some of these things were picked up from the store when I went last night. This I really do like, it has the same exact consistency as the regular Moisture Surge, and honestly, at first glance, the way that it feels on your skin, I don't think you would ever know the difference, but I do feel like it helps retain the moisture longer. There have been nights where this is all I use, just, you know, but it doesn't feel greasy or anything crazy, but I've been putting it on under my, um, this one, the Even Better. That's what I repurchased. I have probably just a few more days of use out of mine. This is the one that has the um, SPF 20. I grabbed this Beauty Blender Chill. It's some kind of special edition that they have. They even have a Chill Solid Cleanser, which I was gonna grab, but they didn't have it in the store. And I think the only difference is that it has like lavender scent or something. Um, this one actually feels really good. You know some beauty blenders, like the black one, the purple one for whatever reason, which is the one I'm using now, they have sort of like a more dense feel um, a little rougher, like even when they're wet. That's the only way you should use a beauty blender is wet. I say that all the time. Because um, there's still people that sometimes don't know that. But yeah, when you dampen it and squeeze it out, sometimes it's just, you know that silky feel that a beauty blender has? This one does feel a lot like the pink one. So I think this is gonna be a good one. I don't know, I just like to try different things and I, I don't know what the whole thing is, but it says, just chill. It's the new color they have. So always need a beauty blender. 
It's the only thing I apply my foundation with. I'm very no-nonsense about that now. I like what I like. I just, I have what I like. I have such a good collection of good things, brushes and everything, but the Beauty Blender, it's just, I've gotten where I just use, I just like the good things that work. I have a concealer. I think I'm gonna show you guys during my favorites, something that I bought earlier in the month that has been amazing. But like I said, it was just kinda hard to like figure out what to, um, what to split up here. I have so many things. Oh, and I do wanna mention this. So, um, I feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a video like this in a while, cause then I did, you know, I did my closet video, and then we did that vlog in the car, which I'm glad you guys liked that. That was fun to do. Um, but when I did the closet video, I feel like I've mentioned this so many times. I really honestly did not get any questions about this or really anyone that was confused about this um, because I've said this so many times. I do my makeup in the bathroom. I've got a really nice area at our vanity. We're redoing that. We're getting like new countertops. It's gonna be really cool in there, but I have a drawer and it's a big, it's pretty big drawer. I mean, it's a big flat shallow drawer, but it's all my good stuff. It's everything that I used to do my makeup with. It's a lot of stuff, but it's all my good stuff. And that is truly my real makeup collection. Everything that was in the closet, um, and I'm mentioning this because I had a friend in real life the other day that was like, she saw all those things that I had stored in there, like beauty stuff, which is more like my work store. I mean, which I'll explain. She was like, well, where do you like sit to do your makeup? And I'm like, no, this isn't the makeup that I, like this isn't where I sit to do my makeup, especially now like as a mom and like I'm getting ready in the morning. And I just couldn't imagine not doing my makeup by my sink and like having all the light in there. That's just a really, really ideal place to do it. I really love it in there. Um, this is a good spot too, but I would wanna keep all my stuff in here. Uh, so anyways, that works out great. But um, even when I had like a room, like a beauty room, which, kind of got to the point where it was kind of like a novelty thing where I felt like, you know, you're on YouTube, that's what you do, you're filming in here. I realized I didn't need that and I wasn't really naturally wanting to, in real life, go in there to do my makeup. And I didn't want to have a separate thing that was fake for videos and then have a real thing that I use. So I just decided I'm just gonna like keep it real and like use what I use and have it where I really do it, whatever. I'm not gonna have like this setup area. And that's kind of where that came in. But the area that's in my new closet where I have that whole section that I showed you guys in the tour where it's like all my work stuff. Like I've got cabinets that have other things, but in the middle I had that section for beauty items. When I get press samples, when I get boxes, which it is ridiculous, I've said this before, the amount of things that companies send, it is insane. Um, where am I gonna pull that up? I mean, my beauty room, my beauty room, used to be trash. Like when I had like my area, it would just be like, okay, well here's the area where, where what, I wanna come in and feel good about doing my makeup in the morning, and it just has like work stuff all over it and boxes and things I need to sift through. It's not just like a box every now and then, it's a lot of stuff. And over the years, I have reached out to so many companies and have really thinned it out. I'm like, thank you, you know, thank you, I'm no longer accepting this, blah, blah. A lot of things I donate, um, but what I do is I get a box and I try to stay on top of it. If I get like 25 lipsticks, I'll choose like one color I like, if I even like it at all. But um, nothing's more boring to me than just showing you all these things that we all know. I like to show you guys just the really good, exciting things, so I end up with so much. And when I was showing you those drawers, that was like, that is the area where I take the boxes. I sit them there, I go through it, I put them in the drawers if I want to keep it, but lately it's just been, I've just been putting it in the drawers and then I'm gonna go through it later and I just haven't gone through it. When we started the closet, like back in summer, and I had like a piece of furniture in there where I would keep, I was like already kind of doing that when I was filming in here for a while. Um, I would have my things in there. You know, I was kind of already doing that system. I would put my work stuff in there. Um, and I really had nothing in there. I had it narrowed down to like one little thing and I would keep like backups, which I don't really have that many backups of things that I actually use. I probably could just keep it in a little thing like this, but it was empty. All of that stuff is newly accumulated things like within the last couple months. So that is how much I have to stay on top of it. And that's why you will end up, I always say like, doing this, you will end up with so much. So that's that, so I wanted to explain. That I don't even consider my makeup collection. If people are like, what's your, I wouldn't even show you that. I would show you my other stuff because I feel like that's stuff that I haven't even like bonded with or sifted through or if I see something, oh, well, do you wanna try that? I do have that, let me go get it. But it kind of ties into this too because I feel like I truly just like to show you guys the best of the best things and I have been, inundated with everything where I see all these new things coming out and nothing excites me unless if it's really good. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like you guys kind of get the best of the best. I grabbed another and we're going to tie into this other product. Okay. I grabbed, this is my beauty blender solid. It's a little, you know, almost used. Um, these I use all the time. Beauty blenders could not be easier to clean. You have to wet them every time you use them anyways. Keep this by your sink, swirl it and 
you know, lather it up, wet it, rinse it, and then it's ready to use. You don't have to let it dry. So Beauty of the Blender cleanser solids is the way to go, and I would even use that for my brushes. Um, but it goes really fast when you use it with your brushes, and something about a solid cleanser, if you have never used a solid br brush cleanser, you're missing out. Like I used to use the MAC brush cleanser, I had the Sigma brush cleanser, and the MAC was very alcoholic. The Sigma ones I felt like weren't as thorough as this because I would clean my brushes with that, it would run clear, it was fine, then I would use this, so much more would come out. Something about a solid cleanser. So then, I got this little gem. You guys, I cannot tell you how excited I was to get this. Okay, so they have jumped on the solid um, cleanser uh, wagon and, and it's very interesting. It feels like a solid little, feels very solid, no pun intended. It's got um, these things on the back and let me just tell you, I don't usually, even like they're matte and stuff, I don't like usually to stick things in my sink. If I'm gonna lather up a brush, I'll swirl it in that, lather it in my hands and rinse it. You don't even need to scrub brushes when you use something like this. So when I saw this, I was like, okay. So it has these little things. You stick them in the actual like sink and I wouldn't recommend sticking it right behind the flow of the water because you don't want the, this, the ferrule of your brush, like if the water's pouring this way and this is on the back wall of your sink behind the water, you don't want the water pouring onto this. You don't wanna stick it here behind it. You wanna stick it like here. So if the water's here, you can rinse and then you can, and then you know what I'm saying? It's Okay, so you stick it in, you pull this off. So here it is. And it is a solid cleanser inside of a little container that has silicone scrubbies. Now, obviously, you don't want to use this to clean a beauty blender with because you wouldn't want to scrub a beauty, a beauty blender or a sponge, but that's fine. I've got this. I can have two separate things. I don't really, I always kind of, when I would use this to clean my brushes, um, it would kind of pool up in here and get gross, you know, and then I would have to take the thing out. And with a beauty blender, it doesn't really do that. It doesn't really soak water down into it. This, I really like, the, I, I really do like this. You wet your brush and you just swirl it like this and it lathers it up, you rinse it out. And you guys, I did all of my brushes. I used them this morning, so like, I was like, and um, perfection. Couldn't have gone faster, couldn't have been easier. So for your eye brushes, you don't need to like go like that. Literally just one little swipe and it just everything, like this was black. You know what I mean? All my white brushes came perfect. All my beautiful Chanel, like natural fiber brushes couldn't have just couldn't have came cleaner. It really breaks down the product well, but I love it. It's clean. Like I could just see the stuff coming out of it. It would pour out of from here and it wouldn't collect in the back. Um, I didn't even really need to rinse it a lot. It doesn't have a rich smell or anything. When I got it though, the, the cake of the product was pretty much to the tip of the bristles. And it did wear down quite a bit. I did clean all my brushes. Now I don't need to do that all the time. Um, you know, it's not like the Beauty Blender where I'm cleaning it like every day. Cause I don't have like foundation brushes because it's my Beauty Blender, you know what I mean? But when I do need to clean these, um, this is the only thing that I'm gonna use. I just, I love it that much. I love it. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is how long it's gonna last. But again, like I said, I'm not washing foundation brushes often because I don't have foundation brushes. I'm using my Beauty Blender, which I use with a, my, my solid. Um, and you could totally use that with this, but I just wouldn't want to scrub a Beauty Blender against these nubs. So if you are curious about this, try it. But there's a lot of product in here. But here's the thing. Um, you don't need to go to town. Like when, this was the first brush that I cleaned with it and I was like really just you know, and, and then I was like, wait, I don't need to do that. Lather it up and then wash it. And I'm not, I'm, I'm okay, I don't know what else to say. I'm really impressed with it. It's vented so it, you just don't feel like it's nasty. I really like that, the Sigmagic Scrub. I think they did a really, really beautiful job with this, you guys. What are the ingredients? I think it's like coconut oil. Um, yeah, it's got like coconut oil, some kind of palm oil, water, sodium, whatever it is, it breaks down everything, but it feels, it leaves your brushes not feeling greasy. It makes them feel squeaky clean. That's something that you need to get. The Shantikai Future Skin, I picked up another one of these. It's like a, this is what I'm wearing today. It's like a dewy foundation that's oil free. It doesn't feel like grease and grossness. It feels fresh, like a gel beautiful it won't like clog your pores it's just lovely and i've had it before i wear the alabaster shade and um again i apply it with a beauty blender you could really do whatever you want but i like it it's just very natural it builds really well it's a beautiful foundation and i have really really been enjoying that 
Okay, I have been into Fix Plus again lately. I've had just a like regular bottle that I've had by my sink. Sometimes I use that glow, you know, the glam glow, like glow spray, but I have really been using the Fix Plus most of the month. They sent me this one, actually. I have a new fresh bottle of the Fix Plus waiting, which I honestly really love that original smell of the Fix Plus. There's something just nostalgic about it. It reminds me of like my early days on YouTube. So I love that smell, but now, they have revamped it with the whole like craze of skin sprays that have been the last couple of years. Um, they just, you know, they revamped their original goodness and they've added like, what would I say? Saying they've added fragrance to it is not a good thing, but that's essentially what they've done. Um, so this is the coconut one. That's the one that I have, which I honestly, I like it. This product is good. I love the Fix Plus. So having a little different is it's nice. This is the coconut. It's refreshing. It smells nice. They have a rose one, which I would really love to try. I think if I were going to like pick one out, they sent me that one, but if I were going to like pick one out, I'd probably pick the rose. Although the coconut's really good. And they have lavender. And what was the other one? I think that's it. Um, I don't know. I'll link to them below. Definitely check that out. I don't know. I'll link to it below. If you haven't tried Fix Plus, that might be kind of a fun way to try it. But the coconut... See, it makes you look very dewy. Like, I sprayed a lot on, so I feel like I look wet. Very, like, dewy and pretty, right? Sometimes I do that anyways. With this powder brush, just kind of sinks it in. A few more beauty things. This is my dud, okay? The Fenty stuff. So, I have not had any, like, yay, I gotta try this. It's been, like, a big buzzed about item. But I don't know, I found, okay, so I, I broke down and I was like, you know what? Always like a good highlighter, let me try this one. But you guys know I've been obsessed with this Too Faced. This, I mean, if you can get your hands on this, get it. When I was at Sephora, they were totally wiped out of it. If you can find one, get it. I'll try to find it, I'll link to, link to you where you can get it. Um, the last few times I've linked to it, they've been in stock places, but I don't know. So this is the Kilowatt in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And um, it is the tone of a highlighter that I enjoy. However, one side is a little glittery. It's fine, whatever. Okay, so let me just put it on for you. So I'll start with this like, you know, the color that's a little less intense. Okay, this is great. This is like ideal highlighter right for me. Like this is what I like. I like something that looks a bit natural. Um, pretty, right? So you could do that. You do have to build it up a little bit. But pretty and natural. But then I use this over it. This one's a little more intense and glittery. So beautiful. What's there to complain about? Well, at the end of the day, when I look at my skin, all that's, and, and makeup never does this to me, especially when I spray. I do, something about that, it wears off. I don't touch that part of my skin. I don't, it just is like gone at the end of the day. And all I see are like little flecks of that glitter left behind. I look like I'm trying real hard with this highlighter. Now I am very realistic. I'm not one of those people that's like, my makeup has to look perfect at the end of the day. It's wearing off. But the way I do my makeup though, it does really last and I don't usually have that issue with anything. And this, honestly, it just kind of wears off. It's beautiful. I, I've now layered the other one on top of it. Um, I don't know, I just, I really do prefer this. I feel like this just kind of like melts into everything and it just lasts. Okay, I have not been super into like really fussy eyeshadow lately. I got that Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure Palette, which is it's honestly, like, I hate to say, it, it's really all you would ever need. Like, it is so good. It's got everything. But lately, I've just been using nothing, like a little bit of um, liner, like my my Urban Decay Demolition and Smudge It with some mascara, or I've been using those Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks, the Eau Naturale is my favorite one. Um, or I just do, like, a really simple color, even if I use that palette. But I got sucked in. I tried these Tom Ford Private Shadows. Of, did I... I did, I showed you guys these, and I got several colors that were a little warmer, kind of like a, almost like terracotta looking, and I loved, loved, loved the formula so much. They're so smooth, but it's not like really an everyday color, so I was like, I really want to find an everyday color. So, I grabbed this one called Blonde Venus, and it's called an Ultra Suede um, color. Now, these are tiny, like this little, like I think I said, the mirror's like the size of a postage stamp, like I don't even know, but... This looks kind of like a nothing color. It's what I'm wearing today. This is one of those colors that you could take with a fluffy brush, that's what I do. Literally just put it on, 
put it right in your crease first and then blend it down onto your lid and you've got an eyeshadow look and you don't have to apply a bunch of different colors you don't have to get fussy it's just so easy and it gives your eyes a little depth that looks like you've got a little something you know but it's just easy it's just the most perfect color um, it's really good for my skin tone um, you know if you were much darker it may not work but if you're more fair you know, don't underestimate these colors that look kind of like nothing because it's really flattering. It's just nice to have a little go-to like this. It's just like, okay, you know, that works for everything. And totally got sucked into this. Now, do you guys remember, um, was it last year or the year before I got that one that was the Tom Ford Autumn Winter 16 palette? Yeah, it was definitely the year before. It was in like the little two and it had those, they were kind of like a weird, like shimmery, like frost, satiny. They were very strange. Um, colors and this is kind of the same finish but it's smoother it's not they're not chunky like those I haven't used the brushes Tom Ford eyeshadows do come with nice little applicators this is the new dip I don't believe this is new like I've seen this before I think I've heard of this but the colors are so pretty you guys there that's really true right there you can really see it it's like a really pretty like champagne -y color a little peachy color up top that's a little champagne -y. the bottom is like a very like this taupey color is really nice I think I wore that one too and then that dark color so they're all that kind of like shimmery um, not like super frosted like 80s frost or anything but it's just a really pretty shimmer I really kind of like to take a little bit of it and um, let me get a fluffy brush um, literally you can just take any kind of brush on bare lids on like after doing exactly what I've done like this put just a little bit right in the center of your lid and it's just a really pretty look and these colors you just can't really go wrong with them they're really smooth Tom Ford eyeshadows are really good quality I mean they freaking should be but um but this was exciting I, I, I enjoyed that and you know I'm very like you know, I don't like dive into like big palettes and just go nuts and do all these colors and really like go hard on a bunch of the different colors. I like to just have simple things that I can put together that I can do lightly. Like you saw that, like really no blending was involved. It was just so simple, could not be easier. Those are the things that I like and I think it looks better. I don't know, I think it's a little more flattering. I think it's pretty, but it's just easy, you know, because I want to look put together on the days when I do my makeup, but you know, I don't want to necessarily sit and like go to town for 30 minutes just doing my eyeshadow. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I love those. I love having things like that. Tom Ford eyeshadows, like I said, they're expensive, but if you want to try something different and you don't mind the splurge, I think that those are worth it. I did grab another Armani Eyes to Kill. This used to be my jam. This used to be my jam. I don't know why I said that. This used to be my favorite. And um, I just, I loved it. And then they changed the packaging. And then I remember one time I got a dud. It was just weird, it wasn't as like intense and beautiful. They changed the packaging. That's what I'm wearing today. And I will say it's not like as intense and as thick looking and as like dark and dramatic as like the Chanel volume or the Better Than Sex. But it's kind of more of a natural drama look. You know what I mean? I like it. And I, I don't know. So it's the one that says classic. Um, Armani eyes to kill so that's a good one. I grabbed this which I have not had in years when I used to be obsessed with benefit like before YouTube and even I don't know I, I used to like have everything I just loved benefit This was always one of those products that I always would want to try and I just never got and I think it was because I was using it wrong or expecting something wrong and they've always had it after all these years So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a go because most days I don't wear makeup most days I wake up I wash my face and when I say don't wear makeup like I'll put on a little bit of mascara, but I'll have my um, my face cream on and my skin's been really good and I've just been enjoying that I just feel like I don't know I just feel like that looks good and that's what I enjoy but I like to put a little bit of a treatment or a little bit of something under my eye I'll put an eye cream on and then I might want to put on like a little bit of a concealer to like to look nice but I don't want it to be like a foundation -y concealer because um, I'm not wearing foundation and I used to wear the Trish McAvoy instant eye lift and I loved that I didn't want to repurchase that I kind of wanted to try something different um, I grabbed this, and this is not a, an, an opaque concealer. Uh, it's not going to be one of those things that you make the triangle and it's like white. You know, don't expect that, okay? It's not like the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose that I love, or even the new one that I'm using, which I got to use. It's very expensive, so I got to use it the rest. I, I just want to really be sure before I talk about it. I'm, I'm loving it, but I just want to have, uh, we'll talk about it later. 
Um, so it's pink, and what you do with this is you put like three little dots under your eyes, what they say to do, and then you just barely tap it in. Now it's not gonna like look like paint, it's not gonna look like it has concealed every little thing. Um, but I'm not kidding you guys, so I was in our family room and I like looked at our, I looked at myself in the mirror like from a distance, and my eyes just looked bright, almost scary, and I was like, whoa, what is that? I got closer. This really does reflect light. I don't know what it is. It's very thin. It's very odd. It's, it was almost like a fluorescent, I know that sounds bad. Um, it looked natural. It sounds like really unnatural and crazy, but it was really cool how it brightened my eyes. So this is kind of cool and I think is a must for those no makeup days. That's what I've been using lately and I've really been enjoying it. Okay, so I kind of went over everything. Uh, every year for Christmas, my mom always grabs me a Victoria's Secret gift card and it is... I never really shop at Victoria's Secret just for random like underwear and stuff. I mean, rarely if I go in, I will. But this one time a year, I will like really stock up and I will literally get rid of my old underwear. Like you have to throw out your under underpants. Like you don't need to keep undies that are years old. I mean, when you think about it, of course you're washing them. They get ratty and you sometimes we don't really look at our underpants. Would you keep a top that was like all bald? No, right? No, don't don't keep don't keep skanky underpants. And I mean skanky, not like skanky, but I mean like ratty underpants. Don't keep that. When they get skanky, you gotta throw them out. So every year when I get that gift card, I use it as like my underwear refresh, you know. But when I was at the checkout, I'll show you guys my things that I got. I saw these, and do you guys remember? I mean, this is still a very big thing that they have, but so I'm going to the checkout and they have that whole thing where they're like bombarding you with all the things and you're like, don't look. And of course you're smelling everything and the line was long. So I love a body splash, a body spray, fragrance mist. This was like 25 bucks. It's not like buying a full on like super expensive perfume, but it smells really good. It's a nice bottle. Do you guys remember this scent called Tease? I do. I used to wear it. I used to wear it. I used to have some. I don't remember what, when that was. I used to wear this. Brad remembered it, and he liked it. This is a very, do I want to say it's like a, uh, you know what it smells like? It smells like the new Marc Jacobs Decadent. Not the de old Decadent, but the new version of the Decadent. It smells a little more florally and fresh. A little cheap. That's this. I like making one of those fragrances every now and then. This is good. If you haven't smelled teas, try it. And then I saw this one. So they had Heavenly, which, do you remember back in the day? I'm talking like when I was in high school, like, late night, like, 99, 2000, when they had the Dream Angels perfumes, remember they had like the three, it was like Heavenly, and like Dreamy, and something else, they had like three of them, do you guys remember that? And then I guess they kept Heavenly over the years, it smells kind of powdery, they had that one in a, in a mist, and I almost got that, but then I saw this one, and it's called Wicked, and it's very vanilla, sugary, but not sicky vanilla, it's just like, a sugary, sugary scent. I oh, don't know, I thought that might be nice like just to spray on like lightly. Okay, so then I'll show you, I'll show you my underpants. But first, I saw this and I almost died. Okay, now, do y'all remember, I don't know, when I was pregnant, I had this top from a pee in the pod and it was a maternity top, but it was this exact top. I finally threw it out the other day. I'm not even gonna lie, like I would still sleep in it. It looked exactly like this, okay? Same exact V-neck everything. And it was just soft and it was cozy and I, never, I finally thought, you know what, Tiffany, it's time to go. It was getting a little ratty. So these were really nice soft sleep shirts that they had and they were two for 39, but I, or two for 36. But I was like, I really just want the one. Um, I didn't really see another one that I like. They had like a bunch of like tie-dyed weird stuff, but I like this around the house with some leggings, really comfy for nighttime. And then um, I got a whole bunch of undie roos. But let me show you, I really love in the pink section, um, the ones that are seamless. These are my favorite. So these are the ones, well, I mean kind of seamless, you know, but they're the ones that kind of look like this, you know what I mean, this material. And this is a thong. So I got those. Um, I got these, which now I'm looking at them and I'm like, I don't know, this looks a little like a... I mean, these aren't seamless. They just have like a big band and they kind of look, I don't know, they're just kind of, I don't know, that prints a little loud. That prints a little loud, but oh my gosh. I just, I love these. These are just so soft. Those are very good. I love just, usually I, I'll buy black, nude, or I'll buy a color like this, but this, these look like that. I always feel a little weird when I'm showing my undies, but whatever. Um, and then I have these. 
the back of those are, I'm not gonna show you the back of those. Did I even look at the back of these when I bought them? That's funny, okay. Those are, that's hilarious. Okay, and then I got pink, which I usually don't do a lot of like, like I said, just like this color. You know, I like those natural colors. And then I grabbed these on the way out. They were like velour, which is kind of odd. They were like velour panties. They're really comfy. They, they feel really comfy. I mean, I haven't tried them on. I've, does it, does it, I was gonna say, does anyone try on underwear at Victoria's Secret? I feel like, I got, mm, I don't know. Gotta wash all those. I, I feel like you should not be able, allowed. I don't feel like people should be allowed to try on swimsuits or underwear. I feel like it's just, you just take your chances. I just get so grossed out. I just don't like it. I don't know, does that really gross you guys out? It really grosses me out. I know you think, well, how do I know? Well, I don't know, take your chances. But I don't want, an, a, I don't want, I don't want a thong that someone else has had. I always buy them from the drawers. Not that that matters, because you could put them back in there, but you know what I mean? Look for your size and just like shop from the drawers. Maybe no one's tried them on. But nothing grosses me out more than buying a bathing suit and then coming home and it's got like that hygiene liner in it. I need like a hazmat suit when I'm like, like <laughs> so on that note, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. Thank you. I'm so glad that you guys liked my last two videos, my little vlog about nothing, which was kind of fun, and my closet. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that. I really enjoyed sharing that with you guys finally, although it was hilarious because speaking of bathing suits, I found my swimsuits in here and I was like, well, duh, that's what I need to put in there. So it was just funny. It was like, I always think like, okay, well, it's not done. Well, I might as well just do the video, you know, but it's not completely done. It's never me. And then like, of course, after the video, I find all these things and I'm like, ugh. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much. I'll keep y'all updated on other things we got going on around here too. There's a lot of um, fun stuff happening. And um, yeah, definitely check out this brush cleaner, you guys. So now I love it. I'm like a solid only. I'm like all solids. Something about this was just really satisfying, really easy to use. And um, I really love that they're doing that. So that is that is an item that I won't be able to be without. I love that. Um, but anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you got your fix of me today because I'm sure this was really long. And I will see you guys again on Friday with another one. And um, I love y'all so much. Thank you for everything. I'll link to everything below that I chatted about. And um, oh, check out this sweater. This is a good one. I feel like this is something that they that will probably sell out. I don't know. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.